welcome to this video tutorial on floating point value calculation real and l real in SCL. Most PLC programmers ignore that the TI portal software specifies and calculates the data type real with a precision of six decimal places, which might lead to unexpected results. This issue, alongside possible solutions, will be discussed in detail in this video tutorial. As you can see, two operands of the data type real, A and B, must be added, and one real operand, C, must be subtracted to complete the first calculation line. In the second calculation line, the constant 1 is divided by the previous outcome Y, and the result is stored in the operand Z. The following values are assigned to the operands as shown in the table. To accomplish this task, you need to make a global data block where you define your operands and create a function where you program the calculation processes. First, the data block DB global data should be created. To do this, click twice on the add new block item on the left pane and the dialog box called add new block appears. Select the data block button and put DB global data in the name field. Then choose global db for the data block type and press the OK button. Create A, B and C tags as aesthetics under the name column. Select real for their data types and type the relevant start values as shown in the table. Both A and C tags have a starting value of 100 million point zero. By data type real, this initial value is converted into 1.0 e plus 08. Now it's time to create an SCL function. Double click add new block item on the left pane at the add new block window opens. Select the function button and enter FC calculate as the name. Then choose SCL from the language drop down menu and press the OK button. When the created SCL block opens, click on the down arrow to open the block interface. Define Z and Y tags as temporary variables under the name column and select real for their data types. Next, start typing calculation formulas in the SCL editor window as shown. For the function to be executed in each PLC cycle scan, it must be called by the main OB. To do this, double click the main OB on the left pane and when the main PLC programming window opens, drag and drop the created SCL block on network 1. It's time to view the outcome of the function by establishing an online connection to the PLC. To do this, left click over the star simulation icon on the top toolbar and the load preview window opens along with the S7 PLC Sim advanced software. As you can see at the bottom of the TIA portal software in the inspector window, the whole PLC program is successfully compiled and no errors or warnings are found. To continue, press the load button. When the load results window pops up, press the finish button and the program starts downloading the PLC simulator. Finally, by clicking the run button over the S7 PLC Sim advanced interface, bring the PLC simulator to run mode. Now left click the eyeglasses icon monitoring on off in the toolbar of the SCL editor to show the application code in the online mode. As you can see, the result at the upper end is y equals zero even though a value of 1 is intended. Why is that? The following is how the incorrect outcome is reached. The operands A and B are added in the first stage of the computation. After adjusting the exponents, the real values of the two operands are as follows. The final two digits of the second number, operand B, are truncated since the precision of its six decimal digits prevents them from being displayed. As a result, the operand is added with a 0 rather than a 1. In the second stage of the computation, operand C is deducted from the result of the previous computation step. In the next computation step, you attempt to divide 1 by 0 when you compute the operand Z, and as a result, the value of operand Z becomes a large number. There are two ways to fix this issue. Let's start with the first solution. To deal with such situations, you can modify your calculating formula. Instead of having y equals a plus b minus c in the first computation line, form the formula as y equals a minus c plus b. Since the equation includes adding and subtracting, you are able to change the positions of operands b and c. So, you should first bring the program into offline mode by clicking on the go offline button on the top toolbar and then start editing the calculation formula in the SCL editor window. 
you need to download the modify program to the simulator to view the result. To do this, left click the download the device button on the top toolbar to open the load preview window and press the load button to bring the program into online mode. Since outcome 0 is accessible in this scenario, after the initial computation step, the addition of the real number, operand b in the second computation step results in the desired outcome, which is 1. The second solution is if you don't want to modify your calculation formulas, you can substitute the L real data type for the real data type. It is possible because the L real data type is handled with a precision of 15 decimal digits and the previous issue does not even occur. To apply this solution, click the Go Offline button in the top toolbar to bring the program into offline mode. Then double click the data block DB Global Data on the left pane and start creating three new tags called ALREAL, BLREAL, and CLREAL with the previous values each having the data type LREAL. Return to the SCL block interface by double clicking the function FC Calculate and pressing the down arrow on the top of the block editor. Declare two new tags called ZLREAL and YLREAL as temporary variables containing LREAL data types. You can start editing your application code based on the new LREAL tags you created for the calculation formulas. Then to view the result, left click the download device button in the top toolbar to open the load preview window. In the load preview dialog box for the data block, choose reinitialize from the action drop down menu and then press the load button to download the program into the PLC simulator. After pressing the eyeglasses icon in the toolbar of the SCL editor, the application program will be displayed in the online mode. As you can see, the expected outcomes for operands Y and Z are achieved without confronting the previous issue discussed at the beginning of this video tutorial.